this video, I want to just briefly go over and do an introduction as far as some of the effects that can be used with certain lights. As far as the Maya renderer goes, one thing that we can actually set up is lights that would have things such as fog or glow attached to them. It's important to note that depending on which light you're working on will depend on what effects are available. I'd like to demo a little bit here using this scene where I have a point light and an area light. And the first effect that I really want to focus on is light, what is called light fog. When you create light fog, think of it like if you've ever looked and you could see dust particles and things like that through um, a beam of light. This uh, can work as far as, uh, you know, the point light. Um, it can also work with the spotlight. And pretty much any time you want to work with these types of effects, you're going to want to select the light that you're currently wanting to work with. And when you come over to the actual shape in the attribute editor, there's going to be some sort of light effects drop down menu here. Depending on the light will depend on what actually shows up here. So for right now, you can see because I have the point light chosen, I can choose light fog. To set a light fog material to the light, you just want to click on the checkerboard right next to it. So now it's gone ahead and created light fog one. So now I can go ahead and begin changing the density. I can change the matte option. So like maybe let's change the color here. Let's make it like kind of a murky green here. And maybe I take the density down a little bit here, maybe to a 0.5. Uh, and let's see, so I've got an opacity grain here. Um, this is going to render based on the alpha transparency. Uh, so you know what, I'll actually leave that for right now. However, what you should also now see down here, let me go ahead and click on the point light here and I'm gonna try to zoom in just so you can see it in the video here. Point lights to this point when we've been working with them, they're just that little kind of star look, but now you see how you've got this big circle going around it. That's actually the radius of the fog itself. So let's go ahead and just take a little look here and see what's going to pop up by default for us here. So not a lot is actually happening yet. We need to kind of crank this up a little bit. So let's go ahead and we'll work through here. I'm gonna to try to keep these up side by side here so you can see what's happening. So for the fog itself, you can set as far as the overall material, shading group, etc. But then you want to come back into the light itself to control as far as both the radius and the intensity. So if I take the radius up here a little bit, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm also going to really crank this. Remember with a lot of Maya uh, files and a Maya effects, you can come in and just because you can only scrub to the end, you can actually change as far as the value goes. And I'll take a fog intensity of 15. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so I need to actually take up my fog intensity a little bit more here. There we go. So now you're starting to kind of see as far as the overall coloring from the point light is concerned there. So maybe I could actually take this up a little bit more. A bit of a murkier look here. Yep. So it's starting to really flush out as far. And you can see along the edge here of the fish as far as how it's affecting the overall fog feel. And you can actually kind of see right back there. It's It might be a little hard to see on the recording, but like the tails are starting to kind of fade off as far as the fog effect is concerned. So this is strictly based off of the light itself. So like if I pull this in a little tighter, you, see, you can now see it much better. Like we're almost losing half of the fish practically. So that's just a brief introduction to light fog. Again, only certain lights have the option under the light effect for setting a light fog. And I'm using the Maya software renderer. Just as a closing point, for instance, if I come back over to the outliner and click on area light, you see how it only has light glow there instead. We'll get to that in a later video. But that's just an overview of one of the special effects you can work with as far as a light is concerned and adding something like fog into your scene or environment.